a very good morning and a warm welcome to everyone who has joined us this morning. Warm wishes on the 73rd Republic Day of our nation. As all of you know, we have gathered here to conduct an elocution competition in English for the students of class 7. So before we begin, let us introduce, let me introduce our esteemed judges, Srimadhi Geeta Nair and Srimadhi Asha Sharma. Children, please give a big hand to these strong pillars of ACS to Mumbai. Coming to the rules of the competition. Each participant will be given a time limit not exceeding two minutes to speak on the topic. The participant should not be reading the speech from any sources. Use of flashcard is permitted but only for reference of outline and keywords or points. The participants should keep their videos on during the entire com competition. Parents, guardians also will invigilate their watch. No malpractice should take place at the time of competition. The decision of the judges will be final. Without much loss of time, let's move into the competition. Before that, to commemorate the great men who laid down their lives in the struggle for India's freedom, the topics chosen for class 7th is India's freedom struggle. So without much loss of time, let's move into the competition. Our first participant is Maithili Banarkar. Maithili, are you there? Good morning. My name is Maithili Banarkar. I am from class 6X. Today, I am going to present a speech on the topic of India's freedom struggle. India was under rule for over more than 200 years. The freedom of India did not aim on the foundation of Indian National Congress to support the view of an educational middle class family in Great Britain. In 1920, Mahatma Gandhi and Indian National Congress together made a non cooperative movement to, in a non violent way to oppose British companies in India. But this non cooperative movement was a failure. Then Mahatma Gandhi let the civil disobedience disobey every order placed by the British Empire. We must respect each and every freedom fighter like B.R. Ambedkar, Rani Lakshmi Bai, Rajguru Bhagat Singh, and many more like them who have sacrificed their life and many more for us. We must respect them and salute for them. Jai Hind, Jai Maharaj. Thank you. Good, Titi. Uh, next participant is Tanvi Bopa. Good morning, my name is Sandy Bopa. I'm from class Sansa. Today I'm going to give you few words about India freedom struggle. Tanvi, please stop it. Tanvi, you have to start your video. Just by hearing audio, we cannot make a judgment about you. The video should be on Tanvi. Can you see me, Sorry? Can you see me? No, no, still not. But I have on the video. Now, now I can see you, Tanvi. Yeah, you yes. can go on. Yes. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. 26th January is celebrated as Republic Day in our country. On this day in 1950, the constitution of the country was formally adopted and India became a fully sovereign state. The fundamental law of the country, the constitution was enacted. Out of the guidance and hard work of Britain and Mahatma Gandhi and the numerous freedom fighters who fought and sacrificed their lives for the independence of our country. So the 26th of January was declared a national holiday and has been recognized and celebrated as the Republic Day of India ever since. It is to be noted that January 26 had a great significance in India's struggle for Swaraj. The Congress session at Lahore on December 29, 1929 had passed a resolution declaring Puna Swaraj as India's goal. It was also declared that the 26th of January should be observed all over India as Purna Swaraj Day. The complete independence day was for the first time celebrated on January 26, 1930. It continued to be so observed until 1947 on achieving independence day, August 15 became an independence day. January 26, however, marked a great event in India's struggle for freedom. It was therefore in the favor of all the January 26 should be selected as the date of commencement of the new constitution. India celebrated the public day with great jubilation and joy all over the country. The day honors India's constitution as an independent nation. 
Schools and colleges host the National Flag on Republic Day. Cultural events celebrating India's struggle for independence are organized across across the country. The President of India hosts the National Flag at India Gate in New Delhi. In New Delhi, the most prestigious parade takes place on Rajpath. This day is celebrated as a day of national significance with great shock and protest. Right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good Tanvi. Uh, next participant is Alankrita. Good morning, honorable teachers and all my dear friends. Myself, Alankrita Meshmuthi, and I study in class seven J. Today, on the occasion of Republic Day, I will speak a few words on my beloved country, Sri Lanka. We all know that we have completed seventy-three years of Republic India and seventy-five years of independence India. Britishers ruled our country for about two hundred years. We all can think how difficult it would have been to free ourselves. India's first war against British was commenced in the year 1857, which is known as the Sepoy Mutiny, the first time Indians united against British. In the year 1885, National Indian Congress was established and became a leading party in freedom struggle. In the year 1920, non-cooperation movement started. Indians decided decided not to buy British goods and started supporting local Indian goods. In the year 1921, Subhash Chandra Bose joined Indian independence struggle. On 26 January 1930, the Indian National Congress declared the independence of India, which was not recognized by British. The Dandi March was organized in the year 1930. Indian National Army was formed by Subhash Chandra Bose in the year 1930. The Quit India movement started in 1942. The UK Parliament passed the Indian Independence Act in the 1947, and thus, after so much of struggle, India's independence we got independence on 15 August 1947. Thank you and have a nice day. Alankrita, good. Uh, so, Farinder Singh, next participant. Good morning, judges and my dear friends. I am Dee Farinder Singh. I am from Sarkar. Today, I would like to. Speak about India's freedom struggle on a special occasion of Swatantra Republic Day. India didn't get its independence overnight. It was a struggle for almost hundred years. The people of India fought a lot to make the country independent from the British rule. Our great Indian freedom fighters like Jansi Ki Rani Lakshmi Bai, Bhagat Singh, Tatya Tope, Raj Guru, and Sukhdev sacrificed their lives, and many were sent to jail. Initially, the British came to India in the year of 1600, the object of doing business under the name of East India Company, and gradually took India in its hands and started persecuting the Indians. Due to this, the demand for freedom started in the country. In 1857, an Indian soldier, Mangal Pandey, from Meerut of West Bengal, started the first freedom struggle against the British rule. This revolt soon spread. Throughout the country, and challenged the British rule. The Jali Mala Bagh incident took place on 13 April 1919, and 379 people lost their lives. I think this was the cruelest act in the history, Indian history. Many such acts, like Simon Commission, Royal Act, etc., played an important role in the independence of India. स्टूडेंट्स It started so years ago. We began with the rain, and then slowly we began to build. It started at the borders that were close to coast. It was a war about its beginnings. What then became of the Indians and their British friends? The British turned to the blue more as a bitter soil. The horrors of the British rule slowly began to bloom across our country far and wide. The Indian student data they saw their lives across the curtain. They received the hunger of spies. 
Guidance was in plenty. Morse was outspoken. Those who were called were gay. It was like the whole country. Against of the Indians, they wanted to be free. They were a support to the country that found its safety. Image was from our eyes. They had seen at different roads. What about the lessons we tell? The images have been done like goals. Few hundred years of seven, I came to an end. It was the time that the best back to the world. The country needed a good day. It's time to go. The best we can find us to be so that I need it. Thank you. Uh, good, Aditya. Uh, so with this, uh, we mark the end of today's competition. I'm sure each one of you have enjoyed listening to them. May I now call upon one of our esteemed judges, uh, Srimati uh, uh, Gita Nair, to motivate our students with her kind words. Ma'am, please. Okay, good morning, students. And a very warm Republic Day to all of you. Uh, the participation from 7th standard is always very less. I don't know what is the reason for that. From 6th standard, uh, uh, I don't know if participate for that. From 7th standard, of course, we already participated. In this competition, uh, I could see that uh, you have prepared well. Most of you have prepared well. Uh, it was indeed uh, a, a, a good lesson to all of you. Uh, we enjoyed it. So now, many of you. Yes, Aditya Rathod, we will give you a chance. Just I have started, that is why let me finish. And after that, Aditya Rathod will be given a chance. Yes. We, were, we are waiting for you, don't worry. We will listen to you definitely. So, uh, and I think this competition gave you a chance to go back to the freedom struggle and uh, uh, get some details about that. And really, this type of competition will definitely take you back to the freedom struggle uh, and the uh, attempts made by the people in the world. So, it was indeed a very good opportunity for you and a very nice chance for us to take care of you. Best of luck to all of you. Thank you. Asha, ma'am, uh, would you like to present your views, ma'am, please? Sir, uh, once I can get to that, this yes. child is not uh, Surya Prakash Sudhu. No, no, ma'am, he is absent. Okay. And Nishka Bhattacharya? Uh, no, uh, she is also absent, ma'am. Okay. Nishka. Uh, Asha, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, sir, though nothing much, much, but I would like to thank these children especially because so much of technical issue was going on from the very beginning till the end. Still, they waited patiently. They did speak well and they must continue. If the court is there, that show must go on. I think they all are following. And I wish we all, students as well as we teachers, as we are inspired, quite inspired, we can also contribute to the nation one way or the other directly or indirectly. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Uh, Thanking both the judges for sparing their valuable time and patiently hearing out our little enthusiastic kids. Uh, thank you everyone. Happy Republic Day once again. Thank you. With this, we are winding up our session. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, children.